This is a flexible quick splint. It's made by Cascade Toboggan. It has uh, aluminum back inside and then it's got a foam pad on the, uh, the underside. It's got four straps with Velcro on them and they go in the opposite directions. Two to one side, two to the other side. It's made so that it can be folded in both directions, this way and this way, and it's adaptive to a variety of injuries, which we will attempt to demonstrate. First of all, we will demonstrate an injury to the lower part of the, uh, the foot, the ankle or tib fib, something below the knee. In this case, we want to support the ankle and the knee joint, both above and below the injury. So we support the injury, slide the splint underneath to get it up above the above and below the joint, set it back down. And then we can pull the splint together and then as one person holds it, the other person starting at the top applies the straps. As firm as the patient can handle. Is that firm? Okay. okay. Right, How does that feel? Okay. 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 This one here can go underneath the foot, maybe, to hold the foot up. Okay. There you go. How does that feel? Very good. Lightweight. Uh, easy to, to move, maneuver around, and it, it wraps around the leg so it doesn't stick up high like the wooden ones used to. Much easier to pack. To try and use this to splint a knee injury, in which case the patient does not want to allow us to straighten the leg, so the knee is going to be flexed. First of all, we need to have some padding underneath the knee, so let's grab a blanket. Okay. Now, as one patroller supports the injury above and below, the other one can slide this under. So would you support her leg and lift it up so I can slide this in? Again, we need to get it as far in as we can. Okay, now I'll support that. Stuff the blanket underneath there to pad. Soft, gently. Fill the space in. How's that feel? Okay, and there again, as one patroller holds the Blint together, the other one starts at the top and works their way down, fastening the straps. Careful there. Now, since we have a flexed knee here, we're going to go underneath the knee with the middle strap because we don't want to go over the injury. Okay. Okay. How's your foot? Comfortable there? Go ahead and do the bottom one to get the strap on. We want to go ahead and tie it to the ankle though. Okay, now, so in order to stabilize the legs together, this one's a little wobbly. We have enough strap here. We're going to lift the good leg up, go underneath that. and put both legs together so that the one leg is helped splitting the other leg. And now we have a pretty stable package so that everything is, is, is fairly tight together. And then we would load her into the sled uh, like that. That feel pretty secure? Okay. Alright, as I told you originally this thing will fold lengthwise as well. Uh, and a lot of times a patient will be wanting to be loaded in the sled sitting up. If they have an upper extremity injury of some sort, we don't want to lie them down. This can be made into a chair, and we can set the patient. If you can sit up, patient, since you you hold your arm, pretend like you've got a bad arm. Okay. Good job. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now that we have her halfway on it, we can take each end. Yeah, because your leg is not hurt. Okay, nope. we got it. All right. And that's, can you lean back? Get that a little better. Sorry about that. I put the other one together too just to keep the strap out of the way. That's pretty comfortable. Yeah. And so it works like a crazy creek chair or one of the other kinds of chairs. Uh, and then as the patient is in the, that way they've got back support behind them. 
And that's fairly adjustable for a variety of sizes of people.